Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 291. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 285 to 294. Hey, in this trick, we're going to do similar a similar trick to 289 and 290 using the len, len function and the len and substitute function. Now, in these uh, 89 and 90, we did counting of uh, certain codes. We have this code here, PCP. But in this one, we not only need to count. So for example, here, we can see that there's one PCP. We not only need to count, but we then need to find the associated value, bring them all back to a cell and add them. So for example, this has a PCP, so we need to get this 2 and put it there. This TP is represented by 4. There's 2N, so the code for N, we need two twos. And finally, there's one PA. So we need to get that 12 and then add them all together in one formula. Now, uh, we'll do the same uh, type of trick we did in the earlier videos with len and len substitute. We'll, in essence, take this, count the length of it, the number of characters. For the PCP, we'll then subtract from it of the length, but the length of substitute, where we substitute blank for PCP. For TP, there'll be a blank. For N, there'll be a blank. When we subtract those two, for PCP, we will get, I think, 18 minus 15, which will give us a 3 here. When we then compare that with division back to the count of this, 3 divided by 3 is 1. That gives us the count, and then we'll use some product to retrieve this. All right, let's see how to do this. We'll start with the two, the len and len substitute. Len. Equals len, and I'm going to say this. I need to count that. But notice there's comma, 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 and there's no comma on the end, and we need that. Ampersand, double quote, comma, double quote. That ampersand is the join symbol, so we've joined that to the end. Any text has to be in double quotes. Now I'm going to close parentheses, and now we have to subtract the length, but not the length of something immediately. We have to substitute, because we want to get rid of uh, PCP when we're counting the PCPs. Now the text is going to be that same little thing. But watch this. This is where it gets tricky. The text, and then I'm going to hit comma, and now the old text. Now we got this. I got this trick. I posted this question at uh, Mr. Excel message board, and Don Quixote gave us this amazing formula we're building here. And the cool thing is, I didn't. Uh, old text, usually I just put like uh, the word PCP or TP or, or whatever I'm trying to find and substitute. I usually put a single thing, but no way. Watch this. We can highlight all of them. This makes this an array formula right here. And when it returns what it's going to return, which we'll look at in just a moment, it'll return this five different times. One, two, three, four, five different times. For the PCP, it returns it'll, it won't have the PCP. For the TP, it won't have the TP. Let's see how this works. Ampersand, double quote, comma, double quote. We still need that at the end of each one. Comma, and then we'll double quote because we want to find those things and replace it with blank. And double quote is blank. Close parentheses, close parentheses on the len. Now, let's see this. This is so exciting here when you get to uh, learn a new trick from someone at the Mr. Excel message boards. This second argument, when I hit um, F9, which is evaluate, you can see that's exactly what it did. Here it is. It listed this five times, right? But the first time, it, it's missing the PCP. The second time, it's missing the TP. So there's the TP. The third time, it's missing the N, so it's missing the two Ns, right there you can see they're missing, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a very clever way. I'm going to control Z. And when we do the whole length of it and hit F9, it gives us 14, 15, 14, 18, 15. Control Z. Let's remember that 14 because that's associated with the PCP, right? That's out after taking it out. This one, when I hit F9, you can see, oh, that's 18. So 18 minus 14 will give us 4. And then the last part of this formula will actually divide. And that 4 divided by the count here of 4 will give us 1. Now, let's put parentheses around this whole thing here, because we need to divide it. Actually, why don't we look at this whole, how what it returns here. 
doop, like that, and then F9. So it's got a 4, a 3, a 4. Remember, that 4 is associated with that N because it found two of them, right? Control-Z. Now we have to divide this by the LEN of this, this whole thing here. And actually, I'm forgetting to lock this. I'm going to have to go back and lock these. But just for the moment, ampersand, double quote, comma, double quote, close parentheses. Now that'll give us um, compare it, right? So the 4 for one of those divided by 4 will give us 1. Um, now this is all going to, well, let's see what this evaluates to right here. And then hit F9, a 1, a 1, a 2, a 0, a 1. Um, that actually will give us the um, count, right? Because how many PCPs are there? 1, 1, 2, 0. There's none of those. And a 1. Control Z. Now, finally, we that, that's how we got the count here, right? So now we need to put the sum product on the outside. Close, uh, open parentheses a second time, and comma, and multiply it by these. So that 1 times 2 will give us a 2. When we get down to the ends, we had 2, a count of 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, which is what we want. I'm going to close parentheses and Control Enter. Now, that worked right there. I'm going to head hit F2 to put it back in edit mode. And I'm going to have to lock these ones with the F4 key. I need a dollar sign in front of the row reference. All right, now I'm going to hit Control Enter and then double click and send it down. And sure enough, it counted, it not only counted, but it actually went and um, at, find the, ri the right number associated with that count and added them for the cells. All right, we'll see you next trick.